Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. We are about to make more pies. Yes, more pies because I haven't made my sweet potato pies yet and that's like a tradition to have sweet potato pie on Thanksgiving. So we're gonna make the sweet potato pies and the pumpkin pies for the holidays. They won't be just for Thanksgiving. I told y'all this on pie day. If you missed pie day, I will link that video down below. This afternoon, we're gonna try to make these pies before I go pick up my Walmart pickup order. I forgot lots of stuff when I was at Aldi. I forgot dish detergent, I forgot trash bags. Plus, I still need a few things for Thanksgiving. So I went ahead and got that stuff ordered. That way, if they start selling out of it, you know, the week of Thanksgiving, we already have it ready to go. And I'm also gonna tell y'all the Thanksgiving menu whenever we go get the haul. Right now, though, we're gonna start the pies. Both of these are pretty easy recipes. Oh, he's a dinosaur. <laughs> Did you get one of Sissy's stamps? I see a little stamp on you right here. No. <laughs> All right, it's pie time. We're gonna start with sweet potato pies because they're gonna take a little bit longer. Uh, usually I use three big sweet potatoes. The bag that I got has lots of little ones, so we're using six little ones. So I'm just piercing them with a fork. They've already been washed and dried off, and then we're just gonna stick them into the microwave. I'm just gonna do these three first. I have a baked potato setting. And on this microwave so I'm just gonna use that but if you don't just do them for like two to three minutes and check them and see if they're done when you cook them in the microwave the peeling will just peel right off I'm gonna go ahead and get the other ingredients ready so we need four tablespoons of melted butter I've got that in here to melt when the potatoes get done we're gonna need two eggs oh I hear those potatoes sizzling <laughs> so this is kind of like my favorites pies. I already made all the family's favorites. The chocolate pies, the peanut butter pies, milk, sugar, and the secret ingredient. Well, it's not really a secret, but the surprising ingredient for these sweet potato pies that you might not think would go in a sweet potato pie. Vanilla instant pudding. Well, and pie filling. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we only need one of these. I couldn't remember when I was getting all the pie ingredients if I needed two or one, but we only need one. All right, we've got the potatoes ready. We're just gonna beat these until they're smooth. It might take just a little while, but these are pretty soft, so it shouldn't take long. Maybe just a couple of minutes. Okay, the sweet potatoes are smooth. Now we're gonna put in the melted butter. All right, Donna wants to put the eggs in. Now you mix. That's it. Okay, we've got the baking sheet lined with full. I can just fit two pies on here, and what I'm gonna do is put these in the oven and then I'm gonna rotate the pan halfway through the cook time. Oh, now it's feeling like Thanksgiving when y'all see this orange in these pies. Mm-hmm, oh, in these pie crusts. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna divide it between the two. And these are our frozen pie crust, unbaked. in the oven at 350 for 30 to 35 minutes and like I said around 20 minutes we'll take the pan out and rotate it. Before I start the pumpkin pies we're gonna wash these dishes. Now it's time for the pumpkin pies. Sissy's opening up the cans of pumpkin. This is actually Paula Wells, well her mama's recipe. I'm gonna have her video linked down below so y'all can go there to get the recipe. She made this in the last week of Fall Food Friday. I'm sure it's gonna be good, so I'll have her video linked down below for y'all. This recipe also makes two pies and we're using the frozen pie crust again for this one. Sissy's got the pumpkin in there. I went ahead and cracked four eggs and I'm just beating them a little bit with a fork here. Teamwork. <laughs> Okay, you can pour those in. You putting us on some Christmas music, John? Yeah. Woohoo! Time 
time to rotate the sweet potato pies. All I'm gonna do is just turn the whole pan around here. Now, they'll go for about 15 more minutes. All right, y'all, the pumpkin pies are done just in time because we're about to leave to go pick up the groceries. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tell y'all, I had to, you know, stick something in the middle to make sure that it came out clean and everything. Had to do it a couple of times because the first time they weren't quite, quite ready. But anyway, the point is, I tasted of what was on the, I just used a knife to stick in there because I couldn't find any toothpicks. Anyway, Paula is right about her mama's pumpkin pies. I'm pretty sure I mean, I haven't had a piece yet because I haven't cut into them yet, but I tasted all I need to know when I tasted of what was on the knife when I checked it. Pretty positive the best pumpkin pie I've ever tasted. These are gonna be great. We gotta go get the groceries real quick. <laughs> I just have a little bit of stuff that we picked up from Walmart because we did the bigger Aldi haul just a couple of days ago. I just needed to get a few more things. Some of this stuff is for Thanksgiving. Some of it's just for the rest of this week. Over here is the necessities corner. This is most of the stuff I forgot to get the other day. We have toilet paper, trash bags, dish detergent, toothpaste, soap, shampoo, baby wipes. And then I also went ahead and got some mango bubbly two boxes of the Great Value Hot Pockets. These are gonna be for green bean casserole, a corn pudding that we're gonna make, and maybe the macaroni and cheese. I don't know if it's gonna be slow cooker or oven baked, but either way, we have some pans for those things. We still have to get the roasting pan for the turkey. Uh, I got frozen corn and canned corn for the corn pudding recipe that we're gonna be making because I couldn't decide if I wanted to use frozen or canned, so I got both. I got some bacon, two cans of cream and mushroom, four cans of French style green beans for the green bean casserole. I got these for movie night, two of the popcorn buckets that the kids really love. And I have not been able to find that butter spray anymore ever since that I got it that one time. They haven't had it available for pickup anyway. They probably have it in store. I need to check when I go in there and see, but anyway. And I thought these would be fun. It's little Rudolph snack mixes. So it's got pretzels, peanuts, and little peanut butter filled Rudolph character shapes. Aren't they cute? I thought that would be fun to add in with the popcorn. So I got two packs of those, one for each bucket of popcorn. I got some sugar, cornmeal, because I wanted to make sure I had cornmeal for the cornbread dressing, light brown sugar, and then I just got two boxes of cereal, frosted mini wheats and frosted flakes, elbow macaroni for the macaroni and cheese on Thanksgiving. Sweet, uh, well not sweet, but tea bags. We got some applewood smoked turkey for sandwiches and I got this great value ground sage. I normally get the McCormick kind, but that's, you know, like this big. And this was like, I think $1.50 or maybe even a little more cheaper than the McCormick kind. And you get probably close to triple the amount of ground sage. So hopefully it'll be just as good. I've always used McCormick, but I'm sure this will be fine. I got some broccoli, cream cheese, butter, uh, two cans of the Crescent dough sheets. I got some more sweet potatoes because I'm gonna do a new sweet potato casserole too. I might share that with y'all though before Thanksgiving because I think it's gonna be really good. So I got those, lemons, peppers, oranges, and cranberries for a homemade cranberry sauce. Two gallons of milk, heavy whipping cream, and orange juice. All right, I'm gonna get this stuff put away, and all the kids wanna try one of the pumpkin pies. So we're gonna leave this one out. I'm sorry, we're gonna leave this one out because it's the one I had to check. I kinda messed up the middle checking it. So we're gonna leave this one out so everybody can try a piece of pumpkin pie. Okay, y'all, a decision has been made. One pumpkin and one sweet potato are going in the freezer. 
one pumpkin and one sweet potato are staying out for the weekend's events of fun and pie. Sweet potato versus what pumpkin. What in the world do you do? There is you no winner. This. There's no winner. Them They're jokers both. is good, buddy. They're both good. They tie. Sissy and uh, Jonah like the pumpkin pie the best. Tyler. I gotta say, that joker's good. And Jacob like sweet potato. You like both. I like both of them. I like both. Manny. Pump, pump. Pump, pump. He picked pumpkin. Pump.